The Spanish Girl Part Three from Poems by Nora May French, read for LibriVox.org by Christine G. One. One time I felt the sun in all my veins and bloomed on crystal mornings flower-wise, and mourned as roses saddened in long rains. What pains is this the summer noon denies? One time the hands of wind upon my hair could heal me like a mother's touch and kiss. When I could give my airy griefs to air, I never knew so sharp a thorn as this. The joy of flower and wind and sighing bough, it comes not back again for tears and rue. A year agone I had not sought as now, and found the sky a vault of empty blue. 2. He loves no more, upon the failing streams, the summer burns, so burns another flame. I see his eyes alight with alien dreams, that long-forgotten country whence he came. Calls to him past my words, beyond my eyes, lost waters shine, remembered sunsets die. I, in my kiss, another mouth replies, and speaks of kisses past, of lips put by. Now this my heart divines for words of love. He gives me still, O oh, woeful heart and bruised, to still complain, but surely when I move. His eyes will never follow as they used. 3. The soul that made love exquisite is gone. It is not that the word, the kiss, is changed. I cannot say, here was his thought withdrawn. So once was love, so now is love estranged. But all of love that I could touch and know, I held as one a lamp that makes his day. And touch it still, and see its flame burn low, Its shining figures fade to painted clay. Ah, I would hold the semblance, keep the kiss, but watching in its heart the paling spark, I cry out when the shadows menace this, as children weep for terror of the dark. 4. That all to-morrows have no wound in store, for shrinking joy nor any prick of dread, I know who closed its eyes for evermore, and keep this night a vigil with my dead. This little space my outthrown hands have stirred, is happy earth for once it knew love's feet, Hence one's love stood and called the heart that heard, And all the garden, all the world, grew sweet. I lay my joy within this hollowed space, I had not thought so blithe a thing could die, And heap the happy earth upon the face That has no will to smile, nor breath to sigh. With dew beneath and hushing night above, I cannot tell how long my grief has lain. Virgin, I will not plead you for my love, only the pain, if you would ease the pain. 5. The world below was deep in stormy cloud, But high in sun we flew along the ledge, And to the strength I rode I cried aloud, And spurred it near against the trembling edge. I rode Raman along the mountain wall, Today he had no wilder mood than I, No wilder will for Lorna's wind to call, Upon the narrow trails that meet the sky. The sharp air flowed like water through my hands. Heart, how I skirted death and laughed at pain, Forgotten pain in half-remembered lands, Below me in the valleys with the rain. 6. What alters with my changing, not her say, Content in little duties that he loves, Not Martha's dimming eyes that stare away, Beyond the tranquil course the circling doves. I too, I float on peace, forget almost, and then as drowning sight may pierce the sea, To find the sun a green and wavering ghost, And shapes of earth distorted monstrously. I see a mocking earth, a sun distraught, I lose the buoying instant of relief, And sink again as wearing soul and thought, Drown in the sick amazement of my grief. 7. I tilt my hollowed life and look within, The wine it held has left a purple trace, Behold a stain where happiness had been, If I should shatter down this empty vase. Through what abysses would my soul be tossed, To meet its judge in undiscovered lands? What sentence meted me alone and lost, Before him with the fragments in my hands? Better the patient earth that loves me still Should drip her clearness on this purple stain, Better my life upheld to her should fill With limpid dew and gradual gift of rain. 8. Some whim of Martha shields me from the night, And fretted that my curtain should be kept, Close-drawn and wakeful candles over-bright, 
I welcomed in the quiet moon, and slept. Then woke again in fear, the night was cold, the witching tide of silver shut away, and Martha's shaking hand on mine was cold, her bending face above me strange and grey. Who sleeps beneath the moon, she whispered low, must pale with her, nor wind, nor noonday sky, be his again whose pulses beat more slow, more faint, till with the waning moon they die. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain.